Photography has always been an outlet for me. When I first started out, I obviously sucked and I didn't really know what my eye was. I just knew that I really enjoyed doing it. And then seven years later, after taking photos pretty consistently, I you know, was able to find a project that I really believed in. And the Women's Moto Exhibit has been an enormous, um, an enormous way for me to get to know myself. And looking back at myself about four or five years ago when I started the project, I'm just today a completely different person. I've grown a lot. I still have a lot, you know, to grow. And um, But the photographs, you know, meeting all the women across the country and the world, um, that's been really um, fulfilling for me. I mean, you know, I'm just as insecure and self-conscious as the rest of them and meeting up with these women and seeing the motorcycle world kind of blossom um, has been a way for me to find self-confidence and to have confidence in the women around me and to see their strength and to kind of rub, rub shoulders with that the bike I'm riding is a 2001 Evo Sportster. It started as a stock yellow Sportster and we stripped it down. And it's really just bare bones, it's hard tailed. And it's, you know, belt drive. And um, this, you know, this bike has been, you know, a roller coaster and it's perfectly imperfect and you know, I've had the brakes go, I was running rear brake only for a while, and then my only rear went, and then, you know, I've had the clutch come off. I mean, anything that could go wrong with the bike has pretty much gone wrong with it. I think one of the reasons why I do like this kind of chopper look or whatever is um, because it's simple. It's you know, it's not always easier, but I think the bells and whistles of a newer bike for me are a little overwhelming and this bike is more approachable and it's also allowed me to just you know learn bit by bit and to bond with people like my brother or my dad or my boyfriend or friends around town and to kind of just put our heads together and see what's wrong with it and um, also this bike you know my first Harley was just it was to me it symbolized that I could go anywhere and you know with uh with the big bike 1200 you know at first seemed like a big bike but it it was it symbolized you know travel and adventure and to this day it, it remains the same so the road that you guys see here is highway 84 into the columbia gorge in oregon and this is a representation this road, you know, it's it's a lot more than just a road. It's a road that I grew up riding on. You know, it's a road I remember my parents taking me in our old Land Cruiser, and me and my brothers would be in the back seat, and they'd be taking us up to Mount Hood to go skiing. And um, the Columbia Gorge, you know, is where I learned to windsurf, and it's where I learned to rock climb, and it's where I learned to mountain bike. And Slowly, it's been a place where I've really enjoyed riding my motorcycle. Um, it's a very vast uh, location. Um, the Columbia River separates the Washington side from the Oregon side. And this is a place where I find solace and peace and um, absence of thought. And a place where I get to spend you know, time with the people that mean the most to me.